So this is actually the gyro I played with as a kid. I used to play with this, you could spin it, and you could feel the gyro forces. Um, as a kid, this is my favorite uh, thing to play with because it was such a different way to interact with the physical world. Uh, this is what basically inspired uh, this concept, but later I found that you had to have more precision ones. So this is a quarter pound gyro. Uh, this only puts out like two to three foot pounds of torque. Basically you have a spinning object and this spins on one axis and it's actuated on the gimbal creating a orth orthogonal roll torque. So basically kind of the way you think about this is the way it's spinning and it creates a, to uh, a torque vector in that direction. This is the front wheel, this is the rear wheel, this is spinning this direction. When this processes, which is the rotation of the control mode gyro, uh, that creates the torque. When it processes this way, it will roll the vehicle this way, and then you come back to neutral position. When it rolls this way, or processes this way, it rolls the vehicle in the opposite direction. So back and forth like this, you can basically kind of create like a stability off of a small range, which is our trim condition of balance. This will also dictate your balance during a turn, uh, maintain a trim condition around a certain radius, um, around like maybe a 40, uh, a 40 meter radius uh, turn on a highway. Uh, and this creates a lot of amazing uh, features and behaviors that aren't usually typical to a normal two-wheeler. But the only application for these are in uh, space satellites for Earth observation, uh, if you have a high precision one. This is uh, a 20 pound gyro that we made. It puts around three, 400 foot pounds of torque. And then this baby is a uh, 40 pound gyro. And this puts out up to around a thousand foot pounds of torque. It's really, really powerful. So how these gyros work is the flywheel spins in this direction and then you process, uh, you process the gyro this way and it leans the vehicle, rolls it uh, back and forth. So we have actually two of them, which is pretty interesting. They both counter, they mirror each other. They counter rotate and they counter process. And this will actually lean the vehicle left and right. It creates an amazing amount of features and behaviors on a two-wheeler that is not quite intuitive. Really amazing architecture that is hyper-efficient super safe and also an amazing uh, experience to drive. Like you basically like, or feel like you're standing still as the world rotates around you. And uh, that's how you tilt and lean and steer. It's kind of like flying an airplane, uh, but low to the ground. They're very, very powerful, very robust. It's pretty exciting. A lot of people ask, why do we need two gyros? Can we do this with one? And the, the actual answer is, yeah, you can balance this with one gyro. Um, but eventually, uh, for two reasons, eventually you will run out of your procession budget with one gyro, um, but that's nice that you can use that, because we have two here, you can reuse that for redundancy. Uh, the other part about why you want to is uh, you kind of, it creates a, when you go up a hill, it creates a, a yaw moment, and that kind of leads to an efficiency of the procession budget or the stability budget that you have on this. So the most reliable way is to do two. Uh, and so any avionics or automotive person would want to have that redundancy just to ensure safety for you know, future customers or uh, just for anyone. Uh, so that's kind of part of our responsibility is to have safety and redundancy and the way we do that is we have to. Back in 2009, when I first uh, came out of school uh, and uh, we had a small team uh, from the Boston area, made for like MIT, Olin, and RISD. And we had a little prototype that was barely mechanically actuated. And it was on a teeter-totter. And there was a small gyro, and the gyro just had to process a little bit, and it picked up and balanced for maybe a split second. But then when it processed in the opposite direction, it saw, I saw it teeter-totter back and forth. And that was that moment where I was like, wow, this actually might work. And I, had, I knew nothing about gyros. I knew a lot about how to build cars, but nothing about the robotics and this technology. So that was a pretty huge breakthrough moment of, wow, I should pursue this further and see how far I can take it.